Hello everyone. In previous video, we learned about controller and its main purpose. In this video, we will be learning uh, mainly about uh, nested routing uh, as well as wildcards. Other than that, we would be starting to learn about uh, how requests are handled within NestJS uh, framework. So let's clean all of this stuff for now. All right. So now we have a simple get method here and we have a simple get decorator here above find all method. Uh, I would look, like to may, uh, make it a bit clear that the function of this method does not matter, right? So you, you can have an, any method name, name upon uh, uh, below this uh, decorator and it would still work. So you can see here, see uh, you can make any name here but it, it would work but for a clean coding practice we would make such a name which makes sense to anyone who works alongside us and to us as well if we are coming back to the project after after a long while so we can do it something like this find all cats or stuff like that right uh, other than that uh, we can also make some sort of nested routes here uh, for example cats shami one two three so if I do it like this, it would still work. See, uh, there is also one little concept about wildcard. Uh, wildcard, I, I would be using this one wildcard here, which is uh, this. So here it means that uh, you can type any character between uh, SHA and double EL uh, here, and it would be it would be caught within this request handler. So I can show it to you. Uh, so for now. Uh, it is M and now one. See, uh, you can type anything here and it would be caught within this particular handler. Now, uh, let's discuss about uh, request within controller and how do we actually see all the parameters which are coming from uh, a request from client side. So, for that, you could type here as req. To EST request or in a short form you can type here REQ only for uh, uh, like better typing um, so this REQ is actually nothing but a decorator so let's just remove this nested out here so this decorator you would be using within your method like this REQ REQ and any right now how do you see what kind of uh, request is being received uh, you begin try and log it out now let's go back to our postman and okay I have removed this route and press submit uh, now you can see uh, if you are coming from express you would recognize that this is uh, the exact request body that we get from our express client in, in our express JS project but this any is not a good coding practice within a type script ecosystem so we would need a proper type here for that you can you can install this in other tab dependency types of express i have already it installed so what i would be doing is importing it directly like this and instead of any i would be using request now you can see uh I would I can see all of its properties within a request like this uh, you can get a query param and stuff like this because now uh, we have a request here I mean you can still access it but uh, it now gives you an availability within your IDE to see what is available within request parameter 